out, I would like to get a big round of applause for our host, MOSI, the Museum of Science and Industry. They have been doing a fabulous job. And we're going to start out the show with some of our hosts from MOSI. I want to get this right. Dustin McMullen is one of the steam punks at MOSI. And the uh, program that they're going to do right now, so let's give them a big round of applause, is When Tesla Meets Faraday. How are you guys all doing today? All right, so we're going to go ahead and get this party started. We are going to do some experiments with electricity, with uh, what steampunks usually like to do around the museum. Now, unfortunately, I was supposed to have a partner here with me, but it seems like he lost track of time. See, there's one of my other steampunks here. His name is Dr. Y. He's a time traveler. For some reason, he can never keep track of time. Thankfully, I have come prepared. See, so what I have right behind me here is some liquid nitrogen. And I'm going to add some very hot liquid dihydrogen monoxide. This is going to create a vast cloud, which is going to freeze him right here in this exact place at this exact time to get it started. You guys ready to see it? Electricity, um, and he also 
Tesla wanted to give everyone in the world free wireless electricity, and he invented these wonderful things here, the Tesla coins. Ah, yes. Round of applause for Tesla. Nikola Tesla. There we go. So, speaking about these Tesla coils, they work very simply. There are two main coils. The large coil on the bottom, which creates a magnetic field that then gets picked up by the thousands of tiny coils on the top, which actually changes 120 volts up to tens of thousands of volts. So you guys ready to see me in between two of them? Yeah! All right, so let's do this. You ready? Oh, I'm ready. All right. Sorry, it's hard for me to put this down and pick it back up. You guys know what plasma energy balls are, right? Yeah. Yes! There are four noble gases that are found inside each one. Can you guys tell me what they are? No! No! <laughs> All right. There's neon. There is xenon. There is argon. And actually, Dr. Y, can you tell us what the fourth one is? Krypton. Superman's home planet. Yes, Superman's home planet. Very good. So, go ahead. I'll hold these slide in between here. All right. Want to make sure that my arms are protected. All right. Dr. Y, are you ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one. Not that much rudder. So let's try something 
something a little bit different. Okay. Let's make a longer circuit with more lights. What do you guys say? What? Yeah. Now I know what you guys are thinking. If one light wasn't that bright, why would I go ahead and try four? You guys probably all think of that, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah all of you, uh huh? Well, we'll think, let's watch it and then you guys will know why. Here we go. Now, Dr. Y. Yes. Are you ready for this? I'm, I think I am. Do you remember what happened last time? Well, I mean, my memory is not as good as it used to be. <laughs> I go through time a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so, here we go. Oh, man. Let me move this back a little bit further. Got to get in good position here. There we go. Perfect. Dr. Y, are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Light me up!